Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Podcast Pasta. That's the podcast that's like pasta, not the podcast that's about pasta. As always, I'm your host, Mike. So way back when I first started this show, I did this, I th- I believe it was like my fifth or sixth episode. I uh, did this retrospective on Hideo Kojima. Uh, and a, a, a majority of that episode was in the context of uh, when I recorded it, it was like a few weeks out from like Death Stranding had, you know, had released. And I wanted to give my thoughts on that game. But, you know, not only that game, just the breadth of Hideo Kojima's work. But a part of that episode was um, contemplating the future. Could Hideo Kojima's future not not only as a you know a game developer, but just as a creative in general. Um, but we are in the future now, and we now have a much better sense of um, what the what Hideo Kojima's future projects are going to be. So I figured it would be kind of fun to do a bit of a follow-up to that previous episode and give my thoughts on if this is kind of what I wanted to see from Hideo Kojima, what I like about, you know, the the future of his um, upcoming projects and what kind of, you know, I guess worries me in, in a sense. But um, I'll start in order in terms of, like, the projects that we know the most about going into, like, you know, his more, like, in the far horizon so the more immediate project that's going to come out from him is Death Stranding 2. Now, when he announced this, I was kind of surprised that we were getting like a sequel at all. Not because, you know, Death Stranding isn't a popular game or anything like that, but because um, if you know anything about Hideo Kojima's story, he was tied for the longest uh, he was, I don't know if tied, yeah, he was kind of tied in doing, like, uh, the Metal Gear Solid series, you know, which spanned, like, years of his career, right? So I was kind of surprised that he wanted to be locked into, you know, doing, like, another franchise like that with multiple games in uh, in a series. You know, I thought that Death Stranding would just be, like, a one-and-done for him, and he would move on to, like, his other ideas um but unless if it was always intended to be unless if i miss something and it was always intended to be you know a a series of games like i don't know if it's um if it's going to go into like a trilogy i don't know if it's planned that far out um but yeah in general i guess i was just kind of surprised that he was going to go for a, a sequel to Death Stranding, especially since, in some ways, I feel like the first Death Stranding is like, for the most part, I think a pretty complete story. Like, not to say that there aren't things that you could, you could still explore in that world, but like, if he never pursued a sequel, I would, I, I, and I think a lot of other like gamers would have been fine with that. But nonetheless, we are. Uh, we are getting Death Stranding 2, and I think a little while back, um, we got more of a, like, a longer trailer cut. It showed some, like, tiny gameplay snippets of, and, and as well as, like, revealing more aspects of the story of certain characters uh, being introduced into the game, as well as returning characters. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I am I am hyped. I mean... I did enjoy the first Death Stranding, despite you know some of my criticisms of uh, its writing. And I think with a sequel, like a lot of the problems that I had with um, how exposition heavy the first Death Stranding game is, should be somewhat mediated because it's a sequel, so you don't have to. I imagine you don't have to explain as much. Like obviously, you'll have to explain like new elements you introduce. But um, hopefully it shouldn't be as bad, I think. Um, but no, I, like a lot of really cool moments in the trailer. I, I think the only kind of, yeah, I, I guess I would say like like criticism or like a kind of point of confusion that I had is that, um, I don't know if it's just me. Am I the only one that's surprised that they brought Higgs back? Not not in a logical sense, like I think within the context of, um, you know, the lore of Death Stranding, I don't think it's necessarily, um, 
I don't think they ever said it was technically impossible. Okay, so for context, and this is going to kind of go into spoilers, so if you haven't played uh, the first Death Stranding game, I, I highly recommend it. I, I think it is an amazing game. But uh, one of the kind of antagonists in the game, I, I wouldn't say he's like a central antagonist, but one of the like antagonists in the game is Troy Baker's character, or Higgs, right? Um and all you know, all throughout the story, he like pops in every now and again to throw like a uh, like a boss your way. Like he summons like these, I can't remember the terminology for like um, these creatures that he throws out at you in the context of Death Stranding. But uh, event like you go through the game, and it culminates in like a final scene where it's you and his character stranded on this beach and you get kind of this fist fight uh, reminiscent of you know Metal Gear Solid 4 and it was like kind of a at least for me and I think a lot of other gamers a highlight moment in, in that game because you know it's like the classic Kojima the breakdown of philosophies where you can no longer argue your positions it's just primal mono e mono fisticuffs right and it was um yeah, like like one of my my favorite moments in that game. So I don't know if it feels like it's kind of cheapening it, cheapening that moment to be like, oh no, he he's he survived it and he's back, right? Like, doesn't that kind of like, I mean, not to say that you know this isn't like a thing that has happened within like the umbra of Hideo Kojima's, you know, um, what's the video game equivalent like you have filmography i don't know what like the video game equivalent is gameography or i don't know if that's a word but within you know his video game like the storylines that he's told through his video games like you know this idea of like resurrection has been a, a theme in at least the metal gear solid series for sure um but yeah i i don't know like to take like that moment uh, I, I that's why I also wonder if a sequel is supposed to be intended or if you know um like we could I mean again we have to like play Death Stranding 2 to figure out like why Higgs is back in the story um but I, I don't know I just thought it kind of like weakened it kind of weakens that moment to be like oh no he he, he made it you know that whole big fist fight you had with him like but I mean, who knows? Who knows? Maybe he'll have like a grander send off in Death Stranding two. Um, I mean, I I gotta admit, like you know, my guy brain, uh, it, it was cool to see him back with like the like death metal makeup and like the laser axe that could shoot lightning, or, or like yeah, that could like shoot lightning out of it. Like I, I'm not gonna die. That is cool. But I'm just saying, like um. I, I don't know it, it just seems it just seems so weird to build up that like large moment in death stranding one and then like he's he's back it, i just thought it was kind of weird but um other than that i i don't know how much we could uh, how much was like you can necessarily gleam from the gameplay i mean obviously it's going to use like a similar engine if uh, for the movement and everything i know um uh, in the death stranding uh director's cut uh, they introduced more combat elements to the game, so maybe Death Stranding 2 will be more action-orientated. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, am looking, I am looking forward to it, and I hope that um, it just in general we could see more of a shift. Like, I, I said this in the, very, in, like, the first episode that I did, you know, the you know, my main retrospective on Hideo Kojima, but I want him to kind of um, not be afraid, like, just let details sit with the audience and not try to explain everything, you know, to because I think, like, uncertainty in storytelling is a good thing. So I think, um, you know, just letting your audience sit with a detail, even if they don't fully understand it right away, I think that could be a very valuable thing. But I don't see that in a lot of his work. And I think it can sometimes be a detriment to, you know, the stories that he tries to tell. But, um, so that's the project that, you know, is the in the more immediate future. Uh, 
for the context of those listening to this episode as it's released, uh, this is coming a few days before Summer Games Fest, so maybe we'll get more details as you know um, as that premieres. I, I'm not sure because I think uh, Keely. Uh, do you say is his name Keely? I can never. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but uh, he said that there wasn't gonna be. Um, like I I can't remember the context of the tweet, but like uh, it was like there's not gonna be like one more thing game. He's not there's not gonna be like any like major surprise at the end of the show that you know uh, like he has had with uh, the pre in previous years. So I I don't know if we'll get anything for Death Stranding too. I'm I'm hopeful that we do. Um, but we'll just have to uh, wait and see. Now, um, he's, Hideo Kojima also has other projects on the horizon. I think the next one that we know a bit more about is a uh, partnership with uh, Jordan Peele, you know, horror director, uh, well, comedian turned horror director. Uh, and this project is called uh, OD or Overdose. It's, um, we're not quite sure what it is. I think from what I'm inferring and from like a lot of the descriptions that I've read of like people covering it, it's going to seemingly be kind of leaning more into the realm of like interactive fiction rather than strictly um, a video game, right? And I know that's like such a kind of like, I guess nebulous line the more you try and... um like navigate it right like what counts as a video game what doesn't count as a video game but um yeah it's um i think like one of the descriptions i had here i had it pulled up uh just to check it for reference was um well that it's like uh they just said it's like a game but it's also like a movie and i don't know like i feel like it hasn't hideo kojima like thrown out like that cell but like he doesn't he throw out that cell with all his games i mean i know that's like kind of the joke with hideo kojima is like oh it's like you're playing a movie more than anything else but i i feel like um even with like even from with like the um how would you say it like um the messaging from his own company right is that like oh these are going to be cinematic experiences and i mean I mean, as a guy that likes movies, I, I appreciate it, I guess. But, you know, at the same time, you know, it's, sometimes you shouldn't have to be afraid to, like, lean into, like, something being a game, right? Like, I think the storytelling that you have in, like, you know, video game experiences is something that is unique. And I think that, you know, we are seeing a lot more developers kind of embrace that. So it's weird that we still have to kind of, like pivot as like oh we're selling these as like movies or something but whatever i'm rambling here i mean when do i not ramble but you know what i mean so od overdose interactive media uh partnership with jordan peele um we don't know too much about it. we got some like test i don't know what you would call it i don't know if it's like necessarily like test footage i don't know if how this footage is going to be like how what the footage is in relation to this experience that he's trying to build um again also one i'm really interested in i hope that i i hope it just pans out in general because you know we we do exist it still is like a project that exists kind of in this gaming sphere um and you know the video game industry does have a bad trend of like projects just dying even even if they are like revealed and since we don't have a lot of it right now um it's still up in the air like who knows if od is even is if i, I don't even know if od is the final name or if it's just like the project name the tentative name um but uh and even to that capacity um I'm not sure if they specifically mention like what capacity Kojima or Peel are involved in this project. Like, you know, um, are they just producers for it or do they have like specific writing or directing rules in it? I'm not really sure. Um, I, I don't know if there's any more specific information on that. Maybe there is, if I could find it out. Um, 
all I found was just like more speculative stuff on the project. Um, I, I, I'm hopeful. <sighs> I don't want to be mean because, again, I do like Hideo Kojima, but I would like to see him more in kind of a... Sometimes I do kind of want to see him more in, like, a backseat role, you know, not like a direct, like a director himself, but, like, you know, more of an advisor because I feel like that could sometimes temper some aspects of his writing style that I tend not to like. Um, But we'll ju we'll just have to see. Hopefully it pans out. And hopefully we do see this project come into fruition, whatever it may be. Um, and the last one that we know, this one was announced like kind of recently, just kind of out of the blue, out of nowhere. But apparently Hodeo Kojima is wanting to return to the stealth, or you know, the espionage, stealth, tactical espionage uh, genre through a project with Universal. And that's all we know. <laughs> that's all we know. Um, you know, again, it's like the same cell where it's like, oh, it's an interactive experience, but it's also like a movie, right? Um, uh, I, 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 I'm, I think I might be the most excited for this project only because you know, uh, you know, I'm a huge stealth game fan myself. Um, I have hundreds of hours logged on like the hit the modern like hitman series and hitman in general uh one of my favorite games is hitman blood money so yeah i'm I'm really excited about this i don't know what it's going to like fully entail i mean i have like some speculation on um my own end uh i think and this is just like speculation but maybe it's going to be like um it's either going to be like maybe like a movie, but also coming with a tie-in game, or maybe it is just going to be like a game. But I, I don't know, just throwing out things. Maybe like the cutscenes are going to play more like you know, like an actual movie, I guess, like not like rendered uh, CGI by actual like live action footage. I, I mean, I don't. Who knows? It's a it's a Deo Kojima again. We don't know if this project might span out, although. With the backing of Universal, it has a better chance. Not saying that it won't, you know, completely fizzle out. Like even, I mean, nowadays, even having the backing of like a big studio isn't a guarantee that a project will release. See, you know, um, like a lot of the canceled Warner Brothers projects, right? That never saw release. Um. But that, yeah, that's effectively what we know of the more recent projects coming out from him. I guess, I guess I have to ask myself now, is, is this what I wanted from Hideo Kojima? Um, you know, uh, when I made the episode way back when, um, and I'm not sure because on one hand, back then, I think I kind of speculated on, um, because there was like a few like tweets and stories really you know that came out that oh he might want to pursue like actual filmmaking right um which i i think was a prospect that also kind of interested me um especially since uh i think Hideo Kojima is a very good like scenario writer like a moment writer especially with his games like i remember moments in his games more so than i do like actual dialogue except for like the really stupid lines right um you know like the real memeable lines but um so i i guess i was curious about um like like maybe like movies would work better as a medium for him he definitely does have like a passion for it um and so I, I was uh, on one hand, I was kind of hoping that he would he would pursue like filmmaking, like more direct filmmaking. But at the same time, like you know, I can't deny that he probably does have the most experience making like you know video games, interactive medium. So I, and maybe he's figuring like, oh, I gotta stick to my strengths at least for a while, and maybe for all we know, he might be pursuing a film in the background we again we just don't know about it yet or maybe one of these projects will evolve or alter into that so it's it's up in the air uh either way i am very i think optimistic about the future of hideo kojima 
Uh, I, I want him to succeed. I, I do like how he's kind of ushered in like this movement of the auteur game developer. You know, where like way back in the past, I'm thinking I'm, I'm talking like Pac Man era. Like most people didn't even know, like they didn't even use the real names for developers in the credits and stuff like that. So to be where we are now, and I think a lot of that in part is because of him as as a creator. Um. But uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted. To do. Oh, I mean, I guess I might as well do it here. Like, you know, whatever. It's a podcast pasta episode. Um, but I, I know there's like this kind of funny joke on like Twitter or X or whatever, um, where you know Hideo Kojima, he, you know, obviously he loves movies and uh, he frequently tweets about you know recent movies that he's seen. And he'll do like kind of a mini review and, um, you know, there's kind of this scale on like, you know, if he really likes a movie, he'll do like a longer tweet talking about like his thoughts on it. If he didn't like it, it'll just be like, I saw X movie. And, you know, it, it's funny and all, but at the same time, I mean, I don't know if this is just a difference in like, I guess, reviewing style. Again, I, I said in the past, I don't like to consider myself a reviewer, but I think, I think I just am. Um, because no, like to me, uh, my philosophy is that even with bad art, there's always something interesting to like talk about. Right. So I mean, I mean, I don't know. I think it's kind of just a bit reductive to just be like, Oh, bad movie. I'm not going to like, I mean, unless he's just trying to do like to be polite, but you know, um, I mean, maybe, but I, I, I don't know. I, I just think, you know, even with like a bad movie, I would want to hear his perspective on it. So I think just to have that weird grading on it, it's, it's just a personal gripe for me, but not like anything too bad. Um, unless there's something I'm missing with it. Like maybe it is just a matter of politeness, but, you know, again, um, that's going to pretty much do it f for me. Um, yeah, that, that yeah, that's gonna pretty much do it for me. Uh, just as a reminder that this episode is brought to you by the Denso Comic Foundation and from viewers and listeners like you. Thank you. <laughs>